Here we can see the White House gate full with one of the symbols of the aristocracy, Le Fleur de Lys. And it even shows a castle woven into it. So who do you think is ruling here? The American people? Well, get out of here. I told you in my video, Pharisocracy, that the pharaohs became the European nobility or the old world order, who are now the new world order, Mason, rule all of the pharaonic per a big house royal bloodline of the pharaohs and switzerland is their base from where all orders are given so-called neutral and where this financial elite of the per a keeps their wealth so this is le fleur de lys the symbol of the aristocracy who are ruling here and this is a castle so they are ruling here a castle this is the castle ruling over the American people. And this elite is the aristocracy, the nobility of pharaonic descent. Symbols don't lie, folks. Watch the Pharaoh show. So this is in Wikipedia, Fleur de Lys, after a, a Swiss town called Lys. So this symbol we just saw on the gates of the White House. And they're the ones who are ruling there. And um, here's some more, Fleur de Lys, as on the White House, in the crown as well. So this is in Wikipedia. I'm right, putting in the links for you. Therefore, at the very symbol of the New World of America, as a New World Order, is the is the fleur de lys from the elusive motherland in the inconquerable alps natural fortress where a town with that very same name of lys carries the same pharaonic symbol of the uh, of river nile's lotus flower in its coat of arms with right next to the uh, next to it the uh, the town of Riet Kerzes, where Obama is really from. White House, Fleur de Lys, Obama, Switzerland. So this town here, like in Fleur de Lys, they have, this is their, their coat of arms in Switzerland. So, you know where they're from. So here it says Lys, with the Fleur de Lys and their coat of arms. And if you take this road here, in five minutes, you get to Riet by Kertzes, yes Kertzes, where Obama's family and his genealogy is from. Five minutes drive. And this is the, uh, the coat of arms we just found on the gate of the White House, where miraculously, sort of, Mr. Obama, who's from here in Switzerland, uh, is living and controlling the American people. Well, what do you know? So here again you can see the tree of Obama's genealogy. Here is Obama in the left hand corner, Lars Meyer, and it will lead us to Switzerland. There. There are some Swiss ancestors here. And it's leading to Peter Gutknecht. And they are from Ried Kerzers. Wow, this is Octagon, I told you. This is the, the Swiss fifth column of sleeper cells ruling over the American people in the United States. Swissama here is a member of his own NRA or Nobama Rifle Association, which only wants Octagon's Blue Army to bear arms so they can duck shoot unarmed Americans by the dozens or thousands. And this too is probably a Swiss gun here. Ah, oh, this is just as funny as James Jesuit Foley and that fake decapitation. This guy here only says he's against Obama, but in reality he's not. This is Octagon with the Swiss Templars cross all over. A good person has sent me this. Excellent. This is Octagon everywhere. There's a G, a uh, the Templars G, you know, hidden in it. 
the Swiss Templar's Cross, the All-Seeing Eye, Octagon. This is uh, yeah, the Swiss Cross again. This is Alex Jones's stuff with the V of the Templars. It's all hidden in here. And here too, the Templar's Cross and the Swiss Cross in the middle of it. And I'm very sure you'll find more things in it as well. You know? It's all hidden. Symbols don't lie. And this guy here who's supposed to know all these things, he's telling us about it. I mean, why is he using it? Hey? Eh? It even says, you know, this is quite cynical. Open up your eyes. <laughs> so cynical. Well, we are opening, opening up our eyes, mate. I want to see a Swiss system. I mean, I wouldn't mind being conquered by Switzerland right now. Swiss matches of that uh, Vesica Peitzer supermarket with the Octagon. Octagon and fire. The nobility spread their pharaonic genes by raping the European population through the Jus Prime Noctis out of which the Sisters of Isis came out killing all Europe's good women as witches at the stakes later on. And there was another Swiss idea. For the first rape cycle they just sent the women back to create just an inhibited pharaonic potential inside. Then carefully selecting this first generation of the Immaculate Conception to be initiated and partly accepted as tools of all sorts for the Per A bloodline. Here it says, this is in Wikipedia, Jus Prime Noctis. And in Switzerland they could do so for a full 100%. By the way, a Muslim, which I am not, would never have his bride or sister raped as the aristocracy did with those honorless Swiss male tools of the sisters who would sell their mother for more money and actually literally sold out their own brides for more out of a mixture of greed and cowardice which so perfectly describes the sly Swiss mind. At the moment Muslims fight for their existence so Pharaoh won't inject their genetics into their women, as they've already done in Afghanistan and Iraq, thus needing a 20-year, one generation only, to build up a blue octagon army called police, of half pharaonic breed, to control the people. They did the same thing with the Jews through Lebensborn in the concentration camps, having total control over them behind three layers, of electrified barbed wire to create the rulers over Israel uh, only from 1948 on. Or does anyone really think that the British Royal Empire would have, the, would have let them just like that if they wouldn't have had any control over the Hebrews from the inside out? It's just the same old story over and over again with the same blue blooders. Now, they've done it with the Europeans, they did it with Jews and, and Celts and, and the Germans and now with the Muslims. It's always the same story. And it is the aristocracy of the pharaohs behind it with their base Switzerland. Crown of Switzerland. And this is what I saw in the canton of Schwitz, where Octogon was founded on August 1st, 1291, long before they shifted power to the crown of the bear in the canton of Bern, which is the evil crown of the bear Saint John describes in the Revelations, long before I discovered YouTube and having a video camera. I did some obelisk hunting and pharaoh bashing, running around with an APS photo camera, taking stills as here from the obelisks of the Eitel Reading House, where kings and emperors came to discuss Europe's destiny 
with one of the most powerful Templar families of the Per A bloodline in Octagon, Switzerland called Von Reding. Immaculate Switzerland and the Swiss crown rule the world. I took the stills more than 10 years ago, right after I started to see through the matrix after I got tortured through code O2T in a Swiss torture detention center in Bern in 2002, where many innocent immigrants have been experimented on and murdered. The castle's door was closed and locked, but I managed to get in to take a few quick stills before exfiltration. Just look at their long pharaonic aristocratic noses. Just like Pharaoh Ramses II the Great, or Ramesses the Great, whose mummy even got an official state's reception in 1974 in France with the French New World Order President Giscard d'Estaing of the nobility and octagon, an octagon military salute and all. By the way, I've never seen any Jews with noses like that but lots of pharaohs and noblemen of the Per A dominating the world. Then I found this woman in a local shop around the corner getting struck by the used Prime Noctis, asking her if she was related to those local pharaohs of the castle. She said no, and I asked her if I could take a picture. She said yes. And there she is, with that face, how pharaoh's dynasty must have looked like a Swiss souvenir and relic of times not really passed by yet, but alive and fostered, still in Octagon of the Alps, the real seat of power. Yeah, just look at their faces, their eyes, and especially the noses. Yeah, the noses. Very long. And then look at this woman here. I mean, this is the imma Immaculate Conception of the nobility and the result. This is their descendants, only not initiated yet. Or maybe. But this is the same lineage, uh, the Prime Noctis, where Octagon got founded in 1291. There it is, von Reding, very powerful family, hidden in the Alps. This is why I shot the, uh, the pictures. And here it says 1287, and a unique witness uh, to the origin of the Swiss Confederacy, like the Confederates, you know, they, these are the guys behind slavery. And 1291 is just a little bit later, you know, when Switzerland started. Uh, in German, in the Pharaoh show, I've been videotaping here, so just have a look, even if you don't understand the German, just have a look at the images. So this is in German about, a, um, about the same family and how powerful they are. I put in the links for you, those who can read uh, German. And the Pharaoh Show in German, the name is called Die Pharaonen Show. You can read in German in Wikipedia how they have been, this family has been murdering all over Switzerland here. It says Ital Reding, de Elter, that means the older it Reding. Um, They've been butchering people all over and probably also in the in the Crusades and uh, almost certainly. Um, well, I'll put it in the links for you. And the Swiss didn't, you know, the people never defend themselves. You know, this is, <laughs> these, these are not people who defend themselves, you know. Uh -huh. Ah, I just saw a pyramid here. You see it? Well, I'll take a closer picture. Ah, there it is. I told you so. It's it's another it's another pyramid for the nobility, the aristocracy in Octogon. They're pharaohs. Believe me. And these two things, two of them you can see in ancient Egypt. Um 
Yeah. Pharaohs. The pharaohs became the aristocracy, as you can see here. The old world order, and they became the new world order through masonry, also depicting pyramids, all seeing eyes, obelisks, and a whole lot of it. With Nazi German helmets, as here in Luzern's main cemetery, honoring the Nazis right at the axis and main stopover, where the Swiss Nazi red line passed through before embarking for South America through Genoa. You can see the falcon, this is Horus, you know, this is the, uh, the Horus matrix. And maybe you can read what it says. Well, this is Octogon, home of the pharaoh in the Alps and the crown of the bear, bringing endless misery over mankind. And it says, in fact, here in German, uh, den Kämpfern, die fern der Heimat für Deutschland starben. So, uh, it's in honor of those warriors or fighters, that means Swiss fighters, who died far away from home, from the, uh, yeah, from home, for Germany. So, it's a German helmet. And they died far in Switzerland, and they died far away of home. So that means far away from Switzerland, and they died for Germany. Yeah. And here it is. Uh, here it says 1945, and here it says, uh, Den Opfern von Krieg und Gewaltherrschaft. You know, talking about the Nazis and their victims. Um, so this is honoring the Nazis, is Horus. Horus of the uh, the Horus matrix. It's pharaonic. There's a lot of obelisks on this uh, cemetery. I already filmed it for you. So this is a um, honoring the Nazis. This is this is a German Nazi helmet. This is not a Swiss helmet. I have a Swiss helmet somewhere, and this is not it. And it talks about Germany. So and this is exactly on the Nazi red line. So for all the Swiss, you know, who fought with the Nazis side by side, like um, the, the health minister and Oberkottenfer of the SS, Leonardo Conti, the other guy um, of the, um, the Einsatzgruppen, um, I, I, I can't remember his name now, the, um, well, the, you know, the colonel who was, who, uh, who made a report of it. I made a video about it already. So this is honoring the Nazis in Switzerland. And it was all financed by Switzerland. You know, this is where it all came from. So that's why there's a German helmet and the Horus Matrix of Octagon. And honoring those Swiss who died far away from Switzerland for Germany. Well, but not for the German people, for the German system. Yeah, I remember now, Colonel Karl Jäger of the, uh, of the horrendous Jäger report. Yeah, so they're honoring these sort of guys, you know. Typical Swiss. And if you dare to talk about that, like I do, then you end up here. This is a high security prison in the Swiss mountains, not very far from where we are here where they, um, as a non-criminal, they put me in a high security prison here. Lovely, isn't it? Charming. And now they want to put me here, or, or in the, uh, the torture detention center in Bern, probably, where they torture people to death. But here too, they killed quite a lot of people in here as well. So this happens if you talk and criticize Switzerland.